Okay, guys. So, I promise this will be the last video that I do today. Because <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm you guys with a whole lot of videos. So, I just got done doing my clothing haul, which was raggedy. And I don't know why. So, if you guys want me to redo it, I'll redo it. I just didn't feel like doing it today. So, I just left it there. <laughs> and I thought it was pretty funny. But, um, so, I wanted to do... I'm so sleepy. I want I need to paint my nails over. I wanted to do a um a rant basically because for those who don't know in Atlanta, hold on, let me sit in this stool. I'm tired of standing. For those who don't know in Atlanta, for those that don't have a car or that don't want to waste gas or they want to take public transportation, there is Marta. Now I do have a car. I'm just afraid to drive it because I'm paranoid and I'm afraid I'm going to get paid over. I mean, pulled over before I pay this ticket off. And I really don't want to be in any more trouble than what I need to be in. So, I'm going to just pay this ticket off and I lay low and ride Marta until I pay the ticket off. And it's just like almost like $1,500. Like, oh, gosh. Anyways, and you know what's so funny is I almost had the money I had. Like, I was probably like $400 away from paying it off. And I spent it on clothes. <laughs> Jesus help me please. <laughs> I need to stop doing it. So I'm close now. So hopefully I don't do anything stupid. And spend it on retarded stuff that I really don't need. Like I make it seem like I need something. When I really don't need it. I just want it. So um. Okay I'm sorry. So I was on Marta coming home from work. Yeah, going home from work. And there was this guy, and I was on a bus, and it was probably like five people on the bus. And he kept staring at me. And at first I was like, okay, well, you know, it's kind of cute. And then it just, like, started irritating me because he was staring at me for forever. I hate when people just stare and don't say anything. I think that is just the rudest thing. Like, if I have a big in my nose, tell me that I have a big in my nose. If I have white shit around my mouth, tell me that there's white shit around my mouth. Don't just sit there and stare at me. Like, I'm thinking, like, damn, is something wrong? And so, like, like I said, it was cute, like, the first 10 seconds. And then after it turned into 15 minutes, it started to annoy me. So, finally, I'm just like, oh, my God. He finally walks up to me, and I'm like, oh, my God, what the fuck is this going to be? And he sits down next to me, and he's like... Excuse me, can I use your phone? And I was like, well, I really don't have a lot of minutes like that, so make it quick. And um, so he was like, okay. And he used my phone, and he uh, just dialed whoever number that he needed to dial. And he was like, um, they didn't answer the phone, but thank you. And I was like, you're welcome. So I took my phone back, and I'm just like thinking to myself, I'm like, something ain't right. That was kind of fishy. I was like, why did he just walk past four people to come ask to use my phone out of all people? Like, when you don't have a phone, first I was thinking, this dude better not talk to me if he ain't got no cell phone. Because everybody's mamas and grandmamas, aunties, cousins, like little five-year-olds walking around with cell phones. Like, everybody has a cell phone. If you don't do nothing, you pay your cell phone bill. Like, <laughs> or you get somebody to pay your cell phone bill. Nobody really doesn't have a cell phone. I'm like, it's kind of rare that you see people without a phone or trying to use pay phones. That's why there's not really pay phones out like that no more. Everybody has a mobile phone. So I was like, this dude better not talk to me or try to talk to me if he ain't got no damn cell phone. And second, I was thinking, if you don't have a cell phone and you need to use something somebody's phone do you really care whose phone you use like why did he just walk past four people to come use my phone when he could have just used the little old lady sitting next to him cell phone and um so I just thought something was fishy um yeah I'm sorry I'm reading the text message so I just thought something was fishy about that and um then I'm just sitting down five minutes pass by and I get a text message and I rarely give my phone number out. Like, really, I rarely. Like, if I do give my phone number out, like, it's because I already know you. Or when I give you my number, I tell you to call my number so I can at least capture it and put your name in it. Or even for people that I don't want to talk to no more, I'll put don't answer. Like, I have a number saved under a contact in my phone. So, I rarely, it's, rarely, it's rare that when I get somebody to text me, I don't know who it is. And so... I was looking at it, and it said, what's your name? And I was just, 
confused. I was puzzled. I was like, who the hell could this be? And I saw an old dude staring at me. And he had a phone in his hand. And I was like, why would he have to use my phone if he has a cell phone? And like, I just put two and two together. And I was like, this nigga, like, this doctor done raped me for my cell phone number. He stole my cell phone number. And I guess he just wanted to use it as, at his leisure. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe he just deboned me for my cell phone number like that. Like, really? That's what's up? Like, that's how we really do it? Whatever happened to being like a gentleman and walking up saying, hey, you look nice today. Well, what's your name? My name is Bobby. Would you mind... Um, going to get coffee one day and whatever happened to that and he's not he wasn't an ugly guy He was very attractive, but I mean I'm th just thinking well if he stole my cell phone number and I don't even know his name yet Imagine what else he gonna try and steal so he just really raped me out of my cell phone number And he just used it and me being the bitch that I am um, Let me respond to this dude before he keeps texting me um, yeah, and the bitch that I am, anyways, he has kids, I don't want to talk to anybody that has kids, but, um, so the bitch that I am, I looked at it, and he was just waiting for me to respond, and I opened my cell phone, I looked at the message, and I looked at him, looked at the message, looked at him, and I just closed it, acting like I didn't get no message, and I just kept looking out the window like, <laughs> I didn't respond back, I didn't even entertain him, I didn't say, who is this, blah, 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 like, I just nipped it in the bud, I was like, man, I'm gonna just act like I ain't getting no text, and I know he knew I got the text message, because my phone rang when he sent it, so I just really thought that I was trifling, and I was raped for my cell phone number, he just took my cell phone number like that, I was so offended, I felt so violated, like, really, that's all you gotta do, like, this, this fool done used to my cell phone to call his phone, so my number could be in his phone, what kind of shit is that, get out of here, but, um, yes, that's one of my experiences, <laughs> No, I'll talk about